I think that's the difference. In a voltage might be different. This kids is how you get bruises all over your arm. Hi guys, today I'm going to do a product review and also show you guys my headlight retro fit that I did on my 2015 Forester XT. I'll show you what I have, what my setup is right now, and then we will install the LED lights and see what the difference is. And I'll give you my opinion and review of the product. So first, let's check out the headlights. Now this is the OE non-HID model headlight that this, this headlight does not come with the little LED boomerang around the headlight and it does not come with HIDs. This was the premium model headlight. Now what I have is a Morimoto D2S conversion that has a high and low by xenon where the factory low beam halogen was. I literally just Googled how to do headlight retrofits and I watched a couple of tutorials and I did it myself in my garage and it was a pain. So I'm going to be replacing this DRL slash high beam bulb with LED as well as my factory fog light. Now the factory fog light just has yellow laminex over it with the stock bulb. So the Forester uses an H16 bulb from the factory which is similar to the H11 but I believe the plug is slightly different. So I got the correct H16 LED bulbs from Oxbeam. Now I'm gonna be installing these on the fog light and then as far as the factory daytime running light slash high beam goes, the Forester uses a 9005 on the high beam slash DRL. I'm gonna be replacing these also with an aux beam LED unit. Now I'm gonna take these out of the box so you guys can check them out. These are the H16s for the fog lights. I'm gonna do these first. So they have like the little projector on the top with four LEDs and then there's LEDs all the way around. These are the factory halogen H16 bulbs with yellow laminex installed over them and I'm going to start the car up so you guys can see what my current daytime running light looks like. They are the 3000 Calvin Nokia just regular halogen bulbs. If you're a packaging nerd like kudos ox beam <laughs> this is kind of nice packaging for some bulbs. So these are the 9005s. They come with a whatever the hell this is. I don't know. i have to open that up. Oh wow. These are actually decent looking as far as visual appearance goes. These Those look are nice. Yeah, they look pretty awesome. The little cardboard box that came in it is a jacket for the instruction manuals. 99% of you are like, just put the bulbs in the car. We don't care about the packaging. To change these out, it's pretty simple. It's right here. I'm gonna give you guys a shot of the backside, but as far as tools go, I'm using these. About as easy as it gets though. I just pop out the old bulb, pop in the new one, plug it in and we're done. So I twist it and pull. It comes right out. Ooh, look at that. This bulb was about ready to go out. That thing was bubbled and about ready to burst. Okay, so a new one to install. These are kind of tough. There you go. Plug it in, plug it in. So I have that LED bulb plugged in on the driver's side. We're gonna turn them on and compare the difference. Obviously one's gonna be white and one's gonna be yellow, but let's see what they look like. That's white as hell. Really? I want to see. Oh wow. Oh my god, that was neutral. Wow, what a difference. Dude, those are so bright. And this kids is how you get bruises all over your arms. Ah, hot. That one was getting hot too. You can see it's got a little bubble in it. Out with the old, in with the new. I gotta take this off. All right, something to take note of, where this thing installs, there's an O-ring that is on the other side of the bulb. And man, do you have to push hard to get that thing to lock in there. I'm not worried about any water getting in because that thing is a really tight seal. Like tight enough that that was a struggle for me. So you gotta be careful too when you're twisting to make sure you don't twist and pinch this when you're twisting this part. And that'd probably rip the wires out. So you gotta be careful. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss my 3000 Calvin DRLs. I wish that this company made yellow, but let's try something different. I've had the yellow DRLs for, I don't know, two and a half years.
here I am in a driveway laying on a beach towel next to a car. This is starting off really weird. Anyway, I'm going to do the fog lights and I'm not gonna jack up the car because I should have enough room to use the only tool required, flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna pop off the little plastic snapper doodles. That is an official term, by the way, Google it. Pull off the snapper doodles, take the under bumper liner out, just enough to get my hand up in there, undo the fog light bulb, pull it out, put it in the new one, and then we'll give it a shot and try it out. So let's get some snapper doodles out. Where's the snapper doodles? Here's one snapper doodle. Ah, ah, ah. Out. Come out. Come out, snapper doodle. Yeah. Right here. There's the bulb. Come on. Come out of your hole. There you go. All right, I got the old bulb out. Now the H16 and the H11 are mildly different. On the H11, this side like that goes into the hole is exactly the same, but this is different. So I think that's the difference and the voltage might be different. I don't know, if you guys wanna know, then Google it. But, ah, my little phone thing. All right, doing this blindly is not easy. Oh, yes. Perfect. So easy, you can do it blind. Okay, now, get this plastic tucked back up in there. Now, I'd be totally lying to you guys if I said I was not going to miss my yellow daytime ring lights. I am gonna miss them, but I don't know. I'm gonna give these ones a shot. They match my headlights perfectly and the LED day timers that I have above the fog light, so they do match. I wish they were yellow LED, but they're not, so I don't know. I'm happy with them, I think. I think these look good, so let's check them out. Huge, huge fan. Check that out, you guys. It is like, oh, that's sick. It's like a lemon yellow color. Okay, so this is the aux beam side with the 6,000 Kelvin LED bulb behind the yellow laminex. This is the factory halogen bulb behind the yellow laminex. And then this is both. Huge fan. I don't know, what do you guys think? I prefer the LED behind it. I don't know if the camera captures it, but we will test this at night so you guys can see what they look like in the dark. All right, you guys, time to install the fog light on the driver's side now. Same process as the passenger side, except it's on the other side of the car. Like it? Yes, no. Do you know why cars use yellow headlights? Like, I know these are fog lights, but the reason why cars used yellow headlights was actually from France during World War II. The French citizens would put yellow headlights on their cars, so that way on the motorways they could differentiate between the German troops and the French citizens on the motorway. I thought that was kind of neat. You guys got an idea of what they look like in the daytime, but let's check them out at night. guys I hope this video was helpful to you if you're considering buying LED daytime running lights or LED fog lights these were sent to me from Oxbeam and no lie I was seriously looking at buying a set and then they offered to send them to me to review on them so I was like okay that's a no-brainer like legit I am happy 100% with these bulbs and I checked the 9005s I stuck my hand in there and they didn't feel too hot because they have a little cooling fan on the back of them I'm happy like, I'm seriously happy. So I'm going to put links down below where you can get these at. And I will see you guys soon with some more content. Bye. It smells like shower curtain.